Hey gang, so I thought I'd give you a quick look at uh, what's going on in the game room at the moment. And did the light just change? Did I just see that go from bright to, to yellow? Bright white to yellow. I, I just want a new camera, and so I'm going to goof around with it a little bit here uh, while I'm videoing with you, and we'll see how it all works. It has a, a neat feature that I haven't enabled uh, just yet, which is a a wireless remote so I can control start stop and zoom uh, while I'm video videoing uh, with my phone or my tablet which is kind of neat that's a little Android feature but uh, here's case white and uh, in the room in the game room I'm on turn the polish turn three right now and as you can see it's a little bit of a mess that's Warsaw right uh, let's see if we can zoom in closer Right there is Warsaw. Whoa, too far. That's gonna take some getting used to. So, where the one seven is, uh, the two one sevens are actually, uh, they are the two Warsaw hexes. And then Lourdes is, uh, where'd it go? Yeah, and there's one other major city right there, loads, L-O-D-Z, is right there. So, um, it's looking kind of grim for the, for the polish, but we knew that was going to happen. I didn't think it happened quite that quick, but that game is going along pretty, pretty quickly. And if we go over and have a quick look at, uh, CV, we're doing this play by poll. And what that means is that, uh, you guys are playing the uh, the uh, US Navy and I'm playing the Japanese and we've got the current situation on the board here and lots of fun things going on right now over here we're officially at the 2300 hour although I've played forward to 0400 just to work out uh, a few bits and pieces uh, for you guys and I decided to leave the marks on the board as to where the units moved because I thought that might make an interesting visual to take a look at once the game was over and done with. Uh, just the major ships where they've moved. And, uh, the, and, and obviously for the Japanese, I'm not putting them all on because you know where they are. But uh, that gives you kind of a, a handle on uh, the situation at the moment, the two task forces that have been spotted. Uh, we've got a uh, make some choices there and I'll be putting some polls and questions out over the next couple of days about what to do with that. The weather's been kind of funky, it's moved around uh, quite a bit actually and started to form a couple of little storms. So there's a, a storm here and one here and uh, that's about it. And then uh, to wrap up, let's see, we got DAC2 going and it is either the first, I think it's the first of August on DAC2 and I'm pretty excited about this game. It's, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, let me just get down here and we can see where the action is. We're kind of hunkered down around Mercer at the moment and there you go, you can probably see what's going on there. Man, and it is, uh, it's just kind of balls to the wall with this thing. It's really, uh, interesting and the back and forth is uh, starting to uh, develop more significantly now I would say overall the ball has been in the court of the access player for the entire time and now as of uh, July 1941 the tables are slowly uh, starting to turn as more reinforcements come on board for the Allies and uh, uh, more packs to build up uh, from the losses table, now the losses have just been brutal for these guys. The units on the right outside of the white of the box, the white box cannot be rebuilt. All the guys in the middle can, and those are guys that have been removed for various reasons. And then in the box way over there, the Near East and Mid East, the units that have had to exit the game because of uh, because of various um, various factors or die rolls that have occurred over time. All right, so that's kind of what's going on at the moment. Uh, in my office, I'm setting up Saints in Armour, but I don't plan on playing that this week. I need to get, I really want to get this to, to a point where we're uh, at a conclusion so that we can start uh, 
uh, one of the sons. And I thought we were there, but unfortunately, this this hex right here, if that hex had have fallen, then I think we would be in really good shape to uh, pretty much call the game over and a win, a second win for the Germans. It would be the second time they would have won uh, the campaign game. Uh, but unfortunately, well, fortunately, I guess, is that that has not fallen yet, and uh, that would, have, would breaching that would have allowed me to come down the escarpment and block off all of this armed force here, put them out of supply and choke them out. And that really would be the, uh, the shooting match. It's starting to become a, an expensive attrition battle, uh, keeping track of the total losses so far just in that for that hex. And you can see it's been fairly significant. All right, I, I picked, up, uh, picked up a couple of extra maps just when uh, uh, game, I purchased games and uh, there was an extra map in 1806 from OSG, and I've actually got uh, the mounted map for Empire of the Sun, so I'm going to put these up. Whoa, I nearly, nearly dropped it. I'm going to put this bad boy up on my wall and uh, kind of get a little bit of artwork going in here, because it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty spartan at the moment, except for, except for the games. All right. That's a quick update on what's going on in the, in the game room.